This is the Garmin 4000 series and I wanted to make a short video on the operational features of this unit. I just upgraded from the 3000 series and I was trying to find something on uh, YouTube where I could understand the window sizes and some of the dimensions and some of the basic operation of the unit so uh, I'm going to try to just do some of that uh, for you now. The uh, 4000 4012 has a 12 inch diagonal display and uh, that checks out correctly. Um, the unit is about seven inches tall and about nine and a half inches across the bottom. The uh, 4000 4012 series uses the uh, Garmin G2 Vision cards, which I've got in this card slot here. The 4212 has the built in base maps. You can share the uh, Garmin G2 Vision card across the NEMA 2000 uh, network, but not across the old uh, Garmin network to the 3000 series units. So I've learned that. I've gone in and set up this unit uh, to be in simulator mode, so I've gone out and defined myself, uh, my boat location out in the middle of the Gulf, and I put some sample waypoints and things in there. And this is the home screen menu. Uh, you use this home key to go back to this menu which allows you to pick between the charts, the radar, sonar, combinations, where to, which is all the navigational menus, uh, information and configuration. Um, so we'll kind of walk through some of those uh, some of those menus. I was primarily interested in the sonar features of the unit so let's take a look at that. Uh, when I select the sonar menu uh, it, it lets me select between full screen, split zoom, split frequency, and water temp. Um, so I'm going to select the split zoom, and it goes to a real, um, real nice uh, display uh, where it halves the screen here. So on the left hand side, I've got my zoom, and on the right, I've got my full water column from zero to about 150 or so feet. And uh, whenever you're in um, a single screen like this with a sonar when I select the menu key it pulls up an adjustment menu for all the sonar features and I can go through and set the gain and the frequencies and information about how I want to track the bottom all the basic things on a sonar it works a little bit differently on a uh, combination screen which I'll show you and then all of these screens have a back key down here that when you select back it will jump you back to uh, back to that original screen. So again, I'm going to use the home screen and go back. You're always jumping back and forth to the home screen when you want to change the basic uh, format of the display. But one thing I was really wanting to check out was the combination screens. And there's some default ones I've gone in and set up. There's a couple of unused ones, and I went in and set up a nav chart and sonar. So if I select that, I found out that the horizontal view works a little bit better for me. I want to see the sonar uh, images stay on the screen a little bit longer. And so that puts that, obviously, that dimension down across the long side of the screen. Uh, down here in the corner, you can see uh, there's a little icon. When you select this icon, that determines which one's on the top and which one's on the bottom. So now I've got the sonar up on, on the top and, and the uh, nav chart down on the bottom. Uh, this this uh, menu key works a little bit different so the key next to the homes key when I'm in a combination when I hit the menu key uh, now I get a uh, selection menu to select whether I want to adjust the sonar or adjust the chart so I go to the chart adjustment so it gives me information on how I adjust some of the parameters on the chart and shows me the chart including the chart setup. Um, so if I wanted to take a look at the chart setup, that's uh, information that's specific to the chart. You know, so you, even some of the information on how the photographs work on the vision card. So I'm going back key, back again, I end up with this uh, display. So I'm going to hit the home key. Now I'm going to go to the uh, combination where we'll take a look at the nav chart and the radar together and you can see a little bit of the uh, differences on this chart. Um, this is a split screen. Um, so this uh, this chart is about four and a half inches across the bottom here 
and about three inches uh, over on this small dimension. And then there's a little side window that's about two inches. The, this is a data window and that data window is adjustable. You can put different data uh, pieces inside there and go in and take those out or modify how they look or, or um, eliminate that display altogether. So I'm in a combination screen. If I hit the menu, the same concept, I get a pop-up that says, do you want to do the chart menu or the radar menu? But down here I get change the combination and this is where you can go in there and change what it does and how it looks and so forth. So it says how many functions do you have on the screen? I've got two. Do you want it vertical or horizontal? Do you want the data bar on? So if I turn the data bar off and collect done, select done, excuse me, then I go back and now I have a, you know, a lot larger uh, window here, but I'm missing my uh, digital data on the uh, on the screen on the data on the data window. So I'm going to use the home screen and go back to charts. And if you pick, uh, there's a selection of nav chart, perspective 3D, Mariner eye, and those are are in the uh, brochure uh, in the instruction manual. Um, when you hit the fishing chart, basically the difference in that is it shows the fathom. Uh, fathom markings on the bottom and um, but the one thing about this navigational menu if you see now there's data boxes that are all around the top and bottom for key information regarding navigation so the distance to the destination arrival time off course information so a real nice display uh, really takes that data window uh, and distributes around a little bit differently but I, I still trying to work on how this is actually defined the data bars um, or here. So I use the menu key to get another uh, layer of penetration in there and I use um, data bars and I can go fishing, fuel. Um, so I've got the fishing uh, data on. Let's turn that off and see what that does. I'm going to use the back key and go back here. So really, you know, it's not really changing the data here so I've got to work a little bit more on how to modify that data screen. Um, the unit is about 16 and a half inches all the way across when you include the knobs. So you got to be a little careful with that. I mean, that would give you no hand room at all. So 16 and a half inches is what it needs to clear the, for the knobs to clear. And then, you know, that would have be butting up against something. So you need a good solid, you know, 20 inches or so across to be able to work these knobs out of there. Maybe even more than that, 22 probably. Um, so I'm going to hit the home key. So that's just kind of the basic stuff. I couldn't find the basic information on the window sizes and some of those features when I was looking into this, but it seems like a really nice display. I may end up going with a 4008 uh, next to it, which shares the vision card across the NEMA 2000 network where I could uh, put the navigation and, and use the uh, full size of the screen for sonar more often. So um, that's kind of a look at some of the basic features of the unit. And we'd appreciate it if you would, uh, you know, like the video or comment, um, you know, or subscribe to our channel. That helps in the way that YouTube uh, takes a look at one of the videos that we produce on the on uh, on YouTube. So appreciate it.